Julia here. In today's 10 minute memory hack, we're going to be talking about all things ice bath and how they're very good for you. <laughs> but before you click away saying you'll never take an ice bath, you don't have to to get the amazing benefits. Stay with me to the end and I'll share with you how to get the results without the ice. Although cold therapy has been around for ages, it has recently been popularized by the legendary Wim Hof. In case you've never heard of him, they refer to him as the Iceman, and he has set multiple world records, including climbing Mount Kilimanjaro in only shorts, running a half marathon above the Arctic Circle barefoot, and standing in a container while covered with ice cubes for more than 110 minutes. His greatest achievement, in my opinion, is that he scientifically proved that the nervous system related to your immune response can be willfully influenced, something that was previously unknown to science. He did this in 2014 under the watchful eye of doctors and scientists while they injected him with an endotoxin. He showed that he was able to control his sympathetic nervous system and immune response, AKA he didn't get sick, nada, nothing with a toxin that would have had you and I lying in bed for days held up sick. This could mean that the Wim Hof method is an effective tool to battle symptoms of various autoimmune diseases. All this is great and all, but what does it have to do with ice baths and cold? Hit that subscribe button to show me that you really want to know. So, do you have to get cold to get the benefits? Well, yes. Cold is good for us, really good for us. Historically, evolutionarily speaking, we didn't have such cozy day-to-day -day environments. The human body was put through a lot more turmoil on a daily basis. We were much more used to being cold and hot for tens of thousands of years than we are now. Nowadays, we're a bit spoiled, and for the most part, if, well, if we can help it, we are never too cold or too hot. But just like you have to work out your heart to keep it strong and challenge your brain to keep it strong, you have to work out your vascular system to keep it strong. An ice bath can change the way in which fluids like blood and lymph flow through your body. Your vessels constrict because of the cold and open back up when your body warms up after the ice bath. This process helps to just flush metabolic waste from your body while getting oxygen and nutrients to your muscles and your brain. And it also gives your blood vessels a little bit of a workout, if you will. Over time, you are not only able to handle more hot and cold temperatures, you get better blood circulation. One study that found after four weeks, blood flow to and from muscles greatly increased. More blood flow to your brain is a great thing. Many people are on blood thinners to get more blood flow to parts of their body. Taking an ice bath or a cold shower are great ways to stimulate more blood flow. Of course, be sure to talk to your doctor before starting any cold therapy as always. When your blood vessels constrict, it also can help reduce any swelling and edema that causes pain by slowing the nerve transmission. Cold therapy may also help with inflammation. You know this when you hurt yourself and you're supposed to put cold on the injury to help with the swelling. Lots of athletes use ice baths to reduce total body swelling after a very hard workout. There are conflicting studies around this one, but we do see how ice helps with acute inflammation like a broken bone. We can see that with our very own eyes. And that brings us to brown fat activation. This one is key. You see, brown fat helps your body to generate heat while your body burns white fat, you know, the fat you don't want. So if you're trying to lose weight, activating your brown fat is going to greatly help in your weight loss efforts. Even if you're not trying to lose weight, it is still so important to keep the brown fat activated. Like a lot of things, too many in my opinion, the older we get, the less brown fat we have. If you ever wonder why older people get cold more often and so easily, this is the reason why, the lack of brown fat to keep their body warm. When it comes to your brain health, brown fat is key. Brown fat helps to regulate sugar, glucose, Sugar is one of the main causes of dementia. Alzheimer's is even sometimes referred to as type 3 diabetes because a lack of insulin response can cause 
dementia. Cold exposure activates this brown fat. And as if that's not enough reasons to do cold therapy, the best reason, again, in my opinion, is the challenge. Our brains need to be challenged in order to stay sharp into old age. It's so important. It's one of my 10 pillars of brain health. When I have to get into that ice bath once a week, it is more of a mental challenge than it is anything else. And I feel like a rock star after 10 minutes of sitting in that freezing cold water. My energy skyrockets and I just feel invincible. No other feeling like it in the world. So how should you get started? Well, unless you're used to the cold, you probably can't just plop in a tub full of ice for 10 minutes at a time like I do. What we recommend is to just turn the shower on cold for 10 to 30 seconds after your hot shower, and then add it another 50 to 30 seconds every few days or once a week. And at the same time, see if you can get the shower colder and colder each time you do it. If you wanna have more of a community around it, I definitely recommend finding groups that do it together once a week. I'll tell you, I never want to sit in freezing cold water, but I go for the community and the support and how I feel after. So go do it. Next shower, try 10 seconds of cold water and treat your vascular system and brain. I'm Julia Lundstrom, your neuroscience and brain health educator. Subscribe to my channel to get more 10 minute memory hacks weekly. Ooh, burn.